All right, man, Sketchpad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today, we're going to be reacting to Lizzo's reaction of her on South Park. And I'm talking about her on South Park. So look, man, we be back. You know what it is, Sketchpad. All right, man. Hey, man. If you want to donate? Right there on the screen. Also, too, if you want to react to your stuff? It's also on the screen. All that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like the content. Pushes us up in the algorithm. Thank y'all for all y'all donations. We in here, man. We're going to keep this thing going. We got a lot more videos to get to. Stick with us, man, because Catchpad is going to keep this thing going, man. We be doing real good lately, man. And we got some new things coming up, so be on the lookout for it. Hey, man, look, let's get right to it, man. Lizzo, let's go. Yeah. I was telling you, Sheila, these new drugs are pretty amazing. I was feeling so ashamed of myself, watching Randy go out and exercise all the time and not eating as much. But I just don't have the same kind of willpower he has. Which of the drugs are you on, Sharon? Ozempic, Manjaro? Oh, no, I talked to my doctor. He said insurance would only pay for those if I had diabetes. But if you can't afford them, then how are you managing your weight? Don't you know, Sheila? Now there's a whole new obesity drug for those of us who can't afford Ozempic and Manjaro. I've controlled all my cravings to be thinner with Lizzo. Oh. Oh, oh, it's Lizzo. FDA approved Lizzo makes you feel good about you feel good about your weight and it costs 90 percent less than ozempic i've lowered my standards and my expectations it's less in case <laughs> patients on Lizzo, no longer care how much they weigh i don't give two shit <laughs> <laughs> In case studies, 70% of patients on Lizzo no longer care how much they weigh. I don't give two shits. Oh, Lizzo helps you eat everything you want and keep physical activity to a minimum. Some patients report constipation while listening to Lizzo. Stop listening to Lizzo if you experience suicidal thoughts. Serious side effects may include pancreatitis, hypothermia, the and fucking album. out your ears. Are you living with concerns of obesity? Ask about the power of not giving a fuck with Lizzo. That's crazy. Oh, <laughs> oh yo. gonna get ready to it man listen man listen man if you listen i'm just gonna explain this man they did the right thing and i'm gonna explain why 
Obesity is a problem in America. And it's always been a problem in America. And I don't see why people like to pretend that it's not a problem. I don't see why people like to pretend it's not a problem. But obesity is a problem in America. Now, if this woman, Lizzo, can walk around and a, and a game, a Lakers game, with her butt cheeks out and knowing that kids are there and don't care, she should have no problem with them doing a parody of her. Basically, this whole skit is basically saying that we live in a time where people don't care about their health. They just care about not giving a fuck. They just care about about whatever they care about. And them putting it out there saying that, okay, you listen to Lizzo instead of you going to the gym. Oh, I just don't have the willpower like Larry. Oh, just get on Lizzo. Just listen to Lizzo because Lizzo <laughs> get you right. She'll tell you that being fat is, is great. And it's, I just don't give a fuck. I'm just going to do what I want. And it's like, that's a genius way of spinning it. Genius. But I think that that uh, it really hit her. Because I think that she know that people are saying, we don't really care for your weight. We want you to lose weight. But with the way they try to make it seem like society standards are... You have to be what they call pretty part of the the pretty pip privilege, or uh, you have to be what they call a uh, uh, a look a certain way. But they don't never say that a form of body shaming is basically being overweight. You know what I'm saying? You don't supposed to be overweight. It's not healthy. It's not normal. But they trying to normalize it. And I think that um, it's, I'm right. I think that they shouldn't do that. You know, I think that what they should do is keep their foot on it and keep on saying stuff like this because people need to understand that you can't be running around three, four hundred pounds. We don't want you to die. That's just that. But that's my take. That was funny, though. Oh, man, I got a good laugh. Yeah, man. Um... People need to understand, man. South Park don't care whether you're black, white, Puerto Rican, whatever. They don't care what race, what nationality, nothing. Every Nobody is safe when it comes to South Park. You know what I mean? Nobody's safe. And this whole message they put out there with Lizzo, listen, it's, it's absolutely right. Obesity is a problem. I don't. I don't really have a problem with Lizzo. I think she's a terrific musician, but I do feel the way she dresses is not appropriate for her size. I mean, dressing like that period is not appropriate, but when you're that big and you're you're parading around a basketball game with your cheeks out and then you think that's cool nah and children are there too like you said children are there seeing that nah you got you you got you got to take some you got to take some step 10 steps back mama it's not cool you know what i mean but hey it's the world we live in so but yeah that's a that's a rude awakening that just goes to show you there's, there's people out there that still don't like it. And as long as you folks keep doing stuff like that, it's going to be people like South Park that's going to keep roasting you until you change your ways. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man, that was funny. That was funny. Yeah, that was hilarious. All right, man, we out of here. See y'all. Peace, bye.